I don't think I can think of myself without music because my mom used to play a lot of instruments when she was little and growing up. She did piano, she did guitar. And then I was put into like music lessons when I was only like two, four years old, like around that time. I kind of like realized that I didn't want to be a performer. And this all started because, because of my oldest brother. He's an audio engineer as well. He was like my, my role model. I wanted to do the same thing. So I went to audio engineering school not knowing what audio engineering was. And I really fell in love with it. And two years before graduating, which is when I met Julio, my current boss, we did a Cani Garcia's project at my university. And we, I, I remember that we recorded the whole album in a week, including videos and everything. It was crazy. And I knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And now I do everything. I tune vocals for a lot of people. And, and out of the blue, I have 150 something songs that I have tuned so far. And, and I'm like, oh my God. It's crazy. <laughs> Not everyone knows that there are vocal tuners that dedicate their lives to vocal tune stuff for people, especially with the tools that we have nowadays that they just set, set them up on automatic and then they let them go. But I like to do my things manual. It, it happened to me when I was very little that I was memorizing my scores and then I would just repeat the names of, of the notes in my head. So I was like in Spanish, like me, la, 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 all the time like that. And always thinking about the notes and the sound. So when I went to school, I noticed that I was very good in, in some of the classes because of that particular skill. So the fact that I got that training and then like knowing about harmony and all these other things while in school helped, helped me a lot with what I do today. I think is the, is the core of what it is. There are, there are artists that are so good in what they do that for you to make them sound better, you actually have to think what are the things that you have to touch on the take because they are already in perfect tune. Ornaments and stuff like on their voices, you, you, you have to be very careful with what you have to do. So the challenge is always like, what can I, what can I touch that is not gonna make it sound artificial or that is not gonna make it go away from the genre because you always want to respect what that particular like, thing is. It's a combination of, of the artist, of the musicians that work on the record, of the record producer, of the engineers, and everyone doing the technical side and on the administrative side, the labels also. So it's a, it's a team effort. It's not only the talent or like from every particular piece, it's, it's the whole, the component of doing everything together and making it work together is very important. My boss, my mentor, he's, he's incredible and he works with all these people and the fact that he's giving me the opportunity to work on that is, is just insane. When I was a student, I never thought that I was going to end up here in Miami, in this recording studio with such mentor, working with these artists. And sometimes I think that it's super important to never take for granted all of those things and to never like lose sight of the big picture of, and of the opportunity that, that I have of meeting all these amazing people every single day. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.